In at least some non-avian dinosaurs, including Pinacosaurus, the larynx appears to have lost its vocal ability. If they were using something like a bird's syrinx to produce sound elsewhere in their bodies, that hasn't fossilized for us. So now the question becomes, when birds' syrinx evolved, was it filling a void that had been left by some distant ancestor losing the ability to vocalize with its larynx? Or did the syrinx evolve while the larynx was still vocal, but the syrinx just had some advantage that made vocalizing with the larynx just superfluous? Experiments in 2019 show that it's the second one. Birds produce vibrations that resonate their entire long windpipe, allowing them to do more work with less breath, which is how tiny birds can make such big noises. But it means that there is a distinct advantage to using a syrinx for vocalization, even if you can still produce sound at the larynx, provided you have a long windpipe. Now knowing that, and in the absence of syrinx fossils to guide us, does it seem likely that of all the dinosaurs with unidirectional breathing, the long windpipe that that permits, and a broad auditory range, only Uarnus in the Cretaceous hit on this vocalization strategy? I would guess that more dinosaurs than not were piping up. 